motivation. Um, to be frank with Something you all. Something everyone is always searching for. Uh, well, just to be frank with everybody, I'm really fucking tired about ta- of talking about motivation. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, motivation has morphed into this thing where I feel like people uh, want to make it tangible. It isn't tangible. You can't touch it. It's not like a real thing in real life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It is a desire to reach a goal. And wishing for something to happen doesn't set us up super far as human beings. Uh, I mean, you've heard the saying. Mainly because we have the brain capacity and attention span of fucking goldfish. But secondly, (laughs) being that motivation is a a desire, we should know by now that both of those things and words and the meaning of them are fleeting. Period. I mean, you wish in one hand, shit in the other. No shit. See which one fills up first. Like (laughs) No pun intended on the no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We talked about shit today. (laughs) Ding. We need like a, a, a ding counter yeah. for when we talk about poop. Yeah. Just a little hot button <laughs> that I can hit every time. Um, we like we talk about motivation so much to the point where, yeah, like we don't want to talk about it anymore. You know what I'd rather talk about? Discipline. I actually, wait a minute. I know. I know. That's why it's <laughs> foreshadowing. I want to talk about discipline. Um, so one of our mutuals on TikTok had to talk about discipline and they talked about it in a way that we've never really considered before, that it can have a negative connotation. Um, it can be interpreted as depriving yourself to reach a goal, which I totally see that. Mm -hmm. Um, and we hadn't really considered that before, but yes, um, if you have a habit of depriving yourself and you use discipline as the excuse as to why you do it, knock that shit off. And like the reason we wanted to bring this up is because we have talked about discipline before, but what we're really meaning norm, uh, 90% of the time when we're talking about that and discipline is creating habits, Mm -hmm. creating routines that you're going to stick to consistently over the long haul. Yeah. That means, you know, eating more vegetables at your meal. That means taking a walk instead of, you know, binging that 15th episode of Grey's or Mm -hmm. Friends or whatever you're Mm -hmm. watching this week, you know, like that's what we mean when we talk about discipline. We're not talking about starving yourself. We're not talking about making you earn your fucking food. If you're doing any of that, please stop. Please stop. Do not and pass work go. work on your relationship with food. Yes. Please talk to a therapist because yep. you may have disordered eating and you might need help with that. Yep. Um, again, hi, welcome to our disclaimer portion of the podcast because we haven't said it yet. But if you're in a mentally bad spot, please go talk to a professional. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a lot of experience with therapy. We've experienced a lot of shit mentally. We've seen a lot of weird I've fucked been up in things therapy in our since lives. I was 12. Yeah, I haven't been there for that long, but I've been there for long enough. But like therapy is essential. If you are broken, you need someone to help you. Sometimes you're not enough to help yourself. And that's mm-hmm. unfortunate and it sucks to hear because everybody loves themselves and wants to do the best they can for themselves. But sometimes you can't it just do everything doesn't work. on your own. Yeah. Sometimes you do need someone to lean on and therapy does that. So if you are in a bad spot right now, please consider talking to a professional. We are not therapists. We just go to therapy and we have shared our, you know, we like to share our experiences with therapy and with our, you know, doctors and therapists and such, because a therapy is expensive and not everyone can afford it. So if we can help you figure out how to navigate some of your situation, cool. We have succeeded in what we do. Or at least point you in the right or a variation of the direction yes two we want to normalize the conversations Mm -hmm. that surround therapy and your mental health which is why we do these podcasts about mental health in the first place but like let's not forget how how much habits hold power in your life Mm -hmm. like the thing about habits is that you can change poor ones and better ones um and in that you can even though even though you've done that habit that new habit for months or years it can still Just like that, you can fall into an old habit. Your brain still knows that they're there. It's like riding a bike. Yep. Like somebody put a six pack of of beer in front of me, my favorite beer, and they said, oh, look, I brought you this. Liver be damned, I'm drinking that beer. Mm -hmm. I'm getting on that bike. Like it's an old habit. Old habits die hard. That saying is very, very fucking true because they're still programmed in your brain even though you think you've reprogrammed your brain. Brains are funny like that. The shit that they store back in the like far depths of the mail room. Oh my God. Like don't, don't, don't let that happen. Like be conscious of your habits. Be conscious of your, your actions. Be conscious of the things that you say. Like when you're conscious of all the shit that you do, it makes you far more on point for yourself. 